Imagine being abducted from your home only to be subjected to torture and humiliation in front of an audience. Can you picture the depths of this violation of human dignity? This is not a scene from a dystopian novel, but a horrific reality for many Palestinians. A Geneva-based human rights organization has shed light on the shocking testimonies of Palestinians abducted from the Gaza Strip, who have been subjected to inhumane and degrading treatment all while Israeli settlers watch, film and even mock their suffering. Let's delve into the abhorrent chronological series of events that these individuals have to endure. The horrifying journey begins with the abduction from the Gaza Strip during the ongoing genocidal war. Picture this. Innocent Palestinians, ripped from their homes and their lives, transported to the far reaches of the region. The Ziki military base to the north and the Negev prison to the south become their new unwilling homes. This is not a simple case of detention, but a calculated move designed to break the spirit of these individuals. These locations are not just prisons, they become theaters of humiliation. As if the abduction and imprisonment weren't enough, the Israeli forces introduce an even more nefarious element to this already chilling tale. Settlers. These settlers are not mere observers. They are active participants in this grotesque spectacle. They are brought into these detention centers, allowed to watch the ongoing torture and humiliation of these abductees. But they don't just watch. They document the events. Armed with their cameras, they record the suffering, turning the pain into their own twisted form of entertainment. The treatment of these abductees ranges from degrading to downright inhumane. They are forced to appear naked before their captors, beaten with metal batons and electric sticks, and even showered with hot water. This is not just physical torture, it's a systematic attack on their dignity and humanity. And all this while the settlers watch, film and photograph, turning this already horrific reality into a spectacle for their own amusement. Yet, the horror doesn't end here. The abuse does not stop there, it only escalates. As the prisoners are held captive, the degrading treatment continues, often in front of an audience. The abductees are subjected to various forms of ill treatment. Imagine being forced to appear naked before strangers, being beaten with metal batons and electric sticks, and showered with scalding hot water. This is the horrifying reality for these individuals. Personal testimonies from released prisoners paint a harrowing picture. Take, for instance, Omar Abu Mudalala, a 43-year-old Gazan, Omar endured the torment of torture and abuse at all stages of his 52-day arrest. He recounts how Israeli troops brought in settlers to watch their nude torture. Disturbingly, the settlers were not merely passive observers. They were allowed, even encouraged, to film and photograph the prisoners during these inhumane acts. Omar recalls, they were making fun of us. He witnessed this happen no less than five times during his detention. It's important to note that these horrifying events are not isolated incidents, but part of a larger systemic issue. The nightmare does not end with the release of these prisoners. The echoes of their suffering reverberate, amplified by the false narrative spun by the Israeli army. The army claimed these tortured individuals were fighters involved in the October operation, a tale woven to justify the inhumane treatment endured by these civilians. However, the Euromed Human Rights Monitor, a Geneva-based organization, refutes these claims. Their shocking report reveals the truth. The majority of these Palestinians abducted from the Gaza Strip have been subjected to arbitrary detention without being charged or brought to justice. The report exposes the stark reality of this situation, a reality that sees individuals stripped of their dignity, their freedom and their rights. It challenges the narrative spun by the Israeli forces and brings to light the grave violation of human rights that has occurred. Yet this is not the end of the story. Released but not freed from their ordeal, these individuals bear the scars of their experience, scars that run deep and scars that demand justice. The scars of this experience run deep, and the fight for justice is far from over. After hearing such a harrowing tale, you might find yourself asking, what can I do? 
The answer lies in the power of your voice. Share this story far and wide, spark conversations in your circles and let the world know about these atrocities. Support organizations working tirelessly to combat these human rights violations. Every tweet, every post, every discussion contributes to the fight against injustice. Don't underestimate the power of a story, your story, our story. Remember, change starts with awareness. Your voice can make a difference.